we are at that point in our program, which is one of my favorite points. I get to introduce Laura Morgan Roberts. <laughs> who's one of my favorite people and was one of my most wonderful colleagues here at HBS a number of years ago. And I so have missed her, missed you. And uh, this is a conference, a time when we get to see each other, which so it's always a treat. Um, but what's really special about Laura is um, that not only is she an amazing scholar and activist, change agent, um, but she is also a poet and um, quite a good one. And so she, I think, well, I have named her the Poet Laureate of this <laughs> conference. Um, And so Laura is going to come and recite one of her poems for us. So thank you, Laura. Thank you so much. We're actually going to do a part one, part two on this. Because it's been a couple of years since we've been in person. So. There's a lot going on. We have a few things to say. <laughs> the first is um, one that I wrote in February of 2022. It's an ode to diversity consultants during Black History Month. <laughs> it's called, What's Your Why? Are we checking boxes or checking egos? And checking some baggage now before we go breaking into some homes and out of some zones of comfortable silence. When the tension gets heavy, you might just feel the impetus to unpack some beliefs, freeze frame some reactions about three-fifths of human existence, fractions, to be the resistance against the oppression of my honest impression of your resistance toward the liberation of our dear nation. It's none of us unless all of us breaking out of boxes where we try to stuff the cold hard facts that compel us to act from a different core. Wait, damn, there's still more? <laughs> Diversity is infinite. Inclusion is elusive. Equity means metrics or your justice is useless. I get in the ire. I pull out the fire. I plant my desire. You say, tone it down. <laughs> Believe, I can go higher. Like the strange fruit on trees, we are used to the fire. What burns more than words? The micro abuses? The systemic orchestration between your silent muses? Blow out the flames that light the gas. Your story is lit by the fairy tales you craft. Back in the day is still here and now, and neither one is worth fantasizing about, unless our chorus, precise as a chisel, carves out a future with my people in the middle, centerpiece of peace. That is my why. My story is my strength. There is no need to lie. Beneath the dust of your feet, she rose to meet the challenge, even when the air grew thin. So shall we begin? Thank you. And this piece is specifically for our occasion today. It's entitled Tools. Your tools are fashioned by design to confine my thoughts, actions, siphon off dreams, hopes, gaining traction you prepare to ensnare me in misery, to shut down, lock out or lock in, handcuffs of gold, loyalty, high priced key. Pick my brain one more time. <laughs> Ask me if I'm really sold on your master plan. You know, the funny thing is, your sophisticated tools don't work without me, so I'm tearing down the altar of white supremacy. It makes my skin a sin. It makes my baby fat a commodity for industry to layer on insults and insecurity 
the body politic manipulated from inside, I subversively hide behind my screen, wanting to scream and fend off the body snatchers of a fantastically curated gaze resources I still need to raise. My tools are raggedy. They're makeshift. They make do. They make much out of nothing. They make plans out of pitfalls. They make hopes out of ashes. Dull tips you can't see, invisible spear that pokes holes in your fallacy of supremacy. Like the steady beat of waves on sediment, my sentiment harnesses power to erode. Just keep on the pressure, the iron fist will corrode and the temper will come tumbling down with barely a sound, like a pile of turtles trying to escape the sun. Idle hearts will become undone by improbable victories won and big lies. They were spun. A monkey wrench in your plan to seize the land, swallowed up like a bed of quicksand. Keep tinkering away until you're screwed. Thank you. (laughs) 